These past few years, dealing with the pandemic has been a roller coaster in the classroom, not only for students, but also teachers and families. I dug into a recent report from Desi on the impact the pandemic had on the amount of time students lost in the classroom. The commissioner tells me the state is now focusing on solutions to get students back on track. According to the Impact of Lost Instructional Time report, all Missouri students' scores were affected during the pandemic, but some students saw slower growth depending on how they learned. We are quite concerned that the achievement gap that we've been working on for decades widened tremendously throughout this pandemic. The report compared students' testing scores from the 2018 to 2019 school year to scores from 2020 to 2021. Uh, we've, we've seen um, the, the most significant loss from prior year uh, in math, and that is particularly evident in schools that were not open for face-to-face. The report also found that students who learn through virtual and distance methods improve less than students who had hybrid and on-site teaching. Younger students were also more affected than older ones. Desi Commissioner Margie Van Dieven says it's important for the state to use federal money to help identify the students' needs and get them back on track. When we have an opportunity to look at what, where do we need to invest our dollars, there have been some very, very clear things that we would like to do. So we've invested funding from the state level in, in instruction for our teachers, working with educator preparation programs on that really expressively clear way of making sure that our students are on grade level reading by grade three. That is really, really important. Van Dieven also added that the state prioritized investing in mental health resources and expanding access to broadband. Overall, the report says that students with disabilities, those with lower family incomes, and black and Hispanic students were found to be most affected by pandemic learning. Megan Drakis, ABC 17 News.